Something exciting to happen on Monday Night Raw. It was a one-on-one -on -one match. It was Raquel Rodriguez versus Trish Stratus with Zoe Stark at ringside in a one-on-one -on -one Money in the Bank qualifying match. So yeah, that's what this match is all about. And yeah, uh, this matchup was going pretty good and stuff. Raquel dominating the first half of this match and stuff. Doing that bear hug and just slinging around Trish Stratus like crazy and everything. But then we started getting towards the end of the match where we see uh, Zoe Stark interfering and stuff, grabbing Raquel by the leg and stuff, which distracted Raquel. Referee didn't see it. And then Trish grabs Raquel, running her shoulder first into the ring post, and pulls her back into the ring, rolling her up for a pin. But Raquel kicked out a two. And then we see Becky Lynch going down there, attacking Zoe Stark from behind beating her down and everything, throwing her into the barricade multiple times. Trish Stratus gets out there grabbing Becky, but Becky grabs Trish and slings her into the barricade, which caused a disqualification. So yeah, Trish Stratus defeated Raquel Rodriguez by DQ, and she qualifies into the women's Money in the Bank ladder match. That's what happened. And then uh, Becky was all shocked and everything, going like, oh crap, I done screwed up, and Raquel was getting a little bit upset about it. Trish Stratus turns around, Becky, Becky punches her in the face, throws her into the ring, and then Becky gets into the ring, and Trish rolls back out, so yeah, uh, that's what happened there, and then we see, uh, Trish Stratus and Zoe Stark all happy, and Becky Lynch and Raquel arguing a little bit about it, so yeah, uh, that's what happened there for that match, uh, I'll give it two and a half stars, that's why I'll give it, it was an okay match, and in DQ, so yeah, that's what happened there. And then backstage, we see Kathy Kelly interviewing Braun Breaker, and Braun Breaker was talking about that, um, that whatever Finn Balor did to Seth Rollins tonight, yeah, Finn Balor hurt him, but he says that it won't be an excuse for Seth Rollins because tomorrow night he's going to hurt him really freaking bad. So yeah, that's what he said, and he says uh, that everybody's going to be seeing his face a lot more on Monday Night Raw when he becomes the new World Heavyweight Champion tomorrow night on NXT. So yeah, that's what Braun Breaker said. But yep, up next we're going to be seeing Shinsuke Nakamura versus uh, Bronson Reed 101 up next on Monday Night Raw. So yeah, that match will be up next. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Until then. And there was a segment I actually accidentally forgot to mention where we actually see uh, Cody Rhodes and Akira Tozawa. Now, uh, Akira Tozawa actually came up to Cody Rhodes uh, asking to be his tag team partner tonight. And uh, Cody Rhodes said he'll think about it. And Akira Tozawa walks away. And then we see Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens coming up asking Cody Rhodes to be their tag team partner. And uh, Cody Rhodes said that he got... That, yeah, Kira Tozawa coming up and asking him about it, and that, you know, and Kevin Owens starts freaking out, talking about, oh, wow, see, he doesn't accept that somebody else is, uh, you know, to be his uh, tag team partner or whatever, and Cody Rhodes is like, no, I didn't accept nothing about it, he said, I couldn't find two more greatest tag teams than the tag team champions themselves, so yeah, later on tonight, Cody Rhodes will be teaming up with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn to take on the Judgment Day to later on tonight in the main event, so yeah, that was a segment I forgot to mention that happened before uh, Tristratus versus Raquel Rodriguez. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Until then.